Hi everyone and welcome back. I have fantastic news from Dovlab. They just released a new feature called Stellar Studio. And this feature will be available from uh, the former version 1.30 and above. It will allow Dwarf uh, 3 users to do post processing directly from the Dwarf Lab app. It will allow you to do three important uh, things. Star correction, that will uh, correct the stars in your images. Let's say maybe you had the wind or you and you had trails or any other problems that uh, your stars might uh, have during your astrophotography session. It will correct them like uh, blood exterminator or a grax part, but without having to go on your computer. This was very similar with the results that I got in Blood Exterminator, and you don't need to buy PixInsight or Blood Exterminator to get this amazing result. I went outside, I had the tripod already uh, orientated and aligned to Polaris, so I just mounted the Dwarf 3 and I started imaging the Orion Nebula. I wanted to go first with a short plan, but in the end I decided to go with 30 minutes integration time, took more images. And after that, I took another short plan with different settings, uh, exposure time and gain. But now let's see the first result. Dwarf 3 finish stacking. We have now our first image that we captured in the beta testing software that we can use in Stellar Studio. The Stellar Studio at this moment is available only for beta testing, but should be available soon also in a public update. Let me show you the results and how to use Stellar Studio to enhance your images, correct the stars, the noise, and do a star removal directly from your Dwarf Lab app. After Dwarf 3 finished the live stack, I closed uh, the window and went back to the main menu here. After this, you press on the album and you'll be able to see Stellar Studio and Task here on the screen. I've selected Stellar Studio and, and here it will show you the images that you capture with the DOS 3 using the firmware version 1.3.0 and above. It will not work with uh, other uh, older firmware. After this, I selected M42 and start correction. Uh, it will take a little bit of time until it will upload it on the cloud. So at the moment, this uh, beta version of the Stellar Studio it needs to upload the image to the app in order to work. So I did wait first about 30 seconds and then it uh, took me to the next uh, window called Tasks. It will show us uh, the progress of uh, uploading the image to the cloud. Depending on your connection, it can take a few seconds or longer. And of course, if you don't have any errors, everything will go smooth. Fortunately, I did got some errors uh, later uh, on on two images, one on Pleiades and another one on uh, M42. So the upload went slower on, uh, on those tries. So here I think uh, these uh, errors, Dwarf Lab can fix them until it will uh, make Stellar Studio available for a public uh, update. Also, I think would be nice if they will make available the post-processing also for the DOS 3 application, so you can do this even if you do not have internet, let's say you are somewhere remote and you want to post-process the image there, or you do not want to upload the image every time you post-process and then download it again. However, if you don't have any errors, this uh, process is uh, very fast, simple. You basically wait until it, it will upload the image to the cloud, it will make the post-processing, in this case it made start correction, and then you can move to the other operation and do the same. It will show you the option to generate links for each image uh, here on the task list. After it finished processing, you have also an option for upload. Here you press on it and set copy it to clipboard. And you can copy this link in a browser or send it to you on a messenger and then download the images directly from the computer. Okay, so these are the options that you have. You can download them also on your uh, smartphone, but you need an application that can view FITS files in order to view the files. 
I would also like if Darlab will make the possibility to save these images that are already collected directly in the Dwarf 3 album. So, so we will have them also on the Dwarf 3 SD card. So once it's corrected, you can touch the image, it will open it like here. And we can see here this uh, image of the Orion Nebula. Here we use the auto mode and this is the result that I got on M42 using the auto mode. The next option is star correction. Then we have the denoise and star removal. Here we have an example with the denoise applied here on Leo triplet. Look, no more noise. The details are uh, good. So we don't have a very smooth image with low details. And this is a very good. I think it works better than the previous AI noise reduction that Dwarf Lab has uh, used in the Dovelab app. So what I would do, I would skip that and just use here Stella Studio for uh, star correction, uh, denoise and star removal. So here is the image with star correction and denoise and we can check the stars up to the corners of the image. It looks, it looks very good. Now let's see first all the images that I was able to process using the Stella Studio. Here we have Messier 42 with star correction. And it's really impressive. We have all the stars round, very sharp, up to the corners of the image, like this. What I've noticed, the sky background is a little bit uh, blue after uh, using the star reduction, and even more after using the noise reduction, the denoising uh, feature. Now let's check the other images. But here the background you can see is darker and we do not have so much blues. And the stars again, they are uh, corrected and round and uh, sharp up to the corners of the image without having any distortions or star trails. Now let's check the next image here with the pleadies. Here I've applied star correction and noise reduction, but here we didn't have any problems uh, with the background being too blue. We have a very good image here for just 15 minutes integration time. And let's check also the last image with the Leo triplet. I've applied again star correction and the denoising and we can see a very low noise image. We have also four hours integration time and it will look uh, even better if we post process this image further. And here we have a starless image and this was uh, what I mentioned with the background being too blue. It's really easy to correct it in post-processing with the Fitz viewer. If you select histogram, you can uh, change here manually the histogram and you'll probably notice that the blue disappeared. So you can correct also very easy these uh, issues directly in Fitz Viewer. And look, we have the image already corrected here and then we can save it. If we want directly here, save as and PNG and I've done that. We've seen how easy it is to make a fast white balance correction using Fitz View and uh, the histogram option. However, if you do want to post process, the raw files. I do recommend to use Serial, that is a free software. You should download it if you do not have it already. And here is very easy to do an accurate color calibration. And I will show you first how to do this. We've imported the raw fits file of the Orion Nebula. Taken with the Dwarf 3, we have here 30 minutes integration time. First, we'll go and select auto stretch here because uh, this is how the image will look. We'll select auto stretch and it will just apply the auto stretch as a screen view, will not change the image. After that, you'll go image processing, select color calibration, click and select photometric color calibration. We click and here you need to enter M42. After that, you select it here lower. You can also select get metadata from image. Click here and it will show you here the pixel size and the focal length. We have here also on default flip image if needed. 
and auto group for wide field. We'll press OK and look at the difference. So you can see how easy it is to correct the white balance of the raw feeds files. So I do not see a big issue here. If the white balance is not corrected for the feeds files, of course it will be better if they would be already corrected. But as you see here, it's very easy to correct the white balance of the raw feeds files using the free software serial if you want to post process the raw feeds files. Now let's say if you do not want to do any post processing, the good news is that the images are saved on your phone on the folder called Dwarf Lab, I believe. And uh, you find the images there saved in JPEG with the white balance corrected. And this is the image with Messier 42 saved on the phone folder as JPEG with the white balance corrected. Here we have the image with the with the star correction and again very good up to the corners of the image very good looking stars and here we have the denoised image i was really impressed with the final result no noise and great details now let's move to the next image here we have a very short plan of five uh, minutes when i used the uh, one minute and gain 60 but i had the dual band filter and it seems especially with uh, the dual band filter because it's narrower, it will let less uh, light to reach the sensor. If you go lower than gain 60, you might have uh, bending in your images. So I would advise to stick with uh, gain 60, so you'll avoid having bending. Here we have a starless image with Messier 42, and we can see a big difference compared with the fits because we do not have uh, strong blue in the background now let's check the image with the pleadies and i believe here we have only 15 minutes integration time and uh, look look how nice and we can see also faint nebulosity here it looks sharp and no noise all the stars are looking good round and sharp great job great job Darley, with this uh, killer feature I i'm really impressed to see this Really, really impressed. An image like this of 15 minutes with the pleadis you can already share on social media and it will uh, look good. However, if you have one hour integration, two or three, I can imagine that the results will be amazing. Now let's continue and check the next image. This was the pleadis without the denoising, so we can see here the difference. Look, we have the denoise applied. And here, no denoising. So it's a huge, huge difference. Uh, we have the Leo triplet, and this is the image with the star correction applied, but we can see a lot of noise. We didn't use the denoise feature yet. And let's see the next one. <clears throat> and here we have the image with the noise reduction. And we can see all the noise went away. This was uh, like a longer plan, about four hours integration. We can see a lot of details. And having captured this with a small smart telescope like the Dwarf 3, I think it's just an amazing result with the Leo Triplet Galaxies. It also shows how uh, post-processing can improve the image quality captured with any telescope. And having this new Stella Studio feature, it will really improve now the images that you'll be able to capture with the Dwarf 3. And it will be a huge difference after you will use the Stellar Studio. Now at the end, I do want to show you also the difference with the Messier 42 image without using the Stellar Studio. And we can see here we do have trails visible. And here we have the image with the star correction. Also, we do have cropping applied. So it seems it does crop also the gradients on the, the margin of the image. Here we have also the image with the noise reduction. And let's zoom 100% all the images. Look, normal image, star reduction, image in Stellar Studio, and here also noise reduction. So it's a huge improvement, I have to say, huge improvement. 
And let's check also the running Menebola here. See, and on the corners, we had also more distortions and startles. And here the image is corrected, but noisy. And here it's also denoised. Amazing difference from the unprocessed image compared with the processed one in the Stellar Studio. After finishing all the post-processing in Stellar Studio and looking at these images, I have to say that I was really impressed with the performance of the star correction, denoising, and also star removal from the Stellar Studio. And it was a big surprise to be able to have these uh, pro processing features for free and allow you to do all this using the Dwarf Lab app without needing a PC. And do stay tuned because in the next video, I do want to make a comparison for star correction and denoising using the new Stellar Studio from Dwarf Lab compared with Graxpert and Blur Exterminator from PixInsight. And if you are interested in buying the Dwarf 3, affiliate links are available in the video description. And if you do want to help the channel out and help me make uh, more videos like this, do consider using them if you are buying the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. I do want to give big thanks to all the channel supporters and members. And if you do want to become also a member and support the channel, hit that join button and you'll have access also to my astrophotography data that I'm sharing for channel members like the DOR3 Smart Telescope data. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Stay tuned and clear sky.